other atmospheric disturbances. So I'm giving you like a table. We have depressions, we have storms, cyclones, hurricanes, and uh, tornadoes. A type of classification. Now, all of these are atmospheric disturbances. Depressions, storms, a type of hierarchy. Hai. Uh, it becomes uh, uh, more and more devastating like this. In terms of speed and intensity, intensity, depressions are the weakest ones. These are the uh, weakest ones. Is may the speed of winds is less than 50 kilometers an hour. In most cases, in the range of 30 to 40 kilometers an hour. They are the least devastating. They're the weakest ones. Tornadoes are the most dangerous ones. Okay, this is the, these are the most, you can say, impactful. The speed of winds, this can be more than 200, more than 300 kilometers an hour. Kabhi ko tornado ka photograph dekhna aap lo, please. Uh, what happens when a tornado passes? Trucks are on the houses. Okay, chhat nikal ke kisi pahad mein gira hoga. Okay, it is, it is absolute mayhem. It's like a couple of uh, nuclear bombs which have been dropped. Tornadoes. They're also called as twisters. They're very, very common in the Great Plains of US. Okay, they are the most devastating ones. The wind speeds more than those or 300 km an hour. Think of jet streams, powerful than those. Storms may, the speed are in the range of around 80 kilometers an hour. Cyclones, 100, 120 kilometers an hour. Hurricanes, this can exceed 150 kilometers an hour, sometimes even 180 kilometers an hour. Okay, and uh, cyclones and hurricanes, uh, sometimes these together are called as tropical cyclones. But hurricanes are more powerful than cyclones. Depressions, example of this is the temperate cyclones. These are weak, low pressure. They can form on the land or on the water also. Temperate cyclones, eh? they are weak, low pressures. They form on the land, they can form on the water. Does India have depressions? Yes. Remember western disturbances and also the low pressure systems of the Bay of Bengal in the month of okay, May, June, July. They're called as tropical depressions of the Bay of Bengal, tropical depressions of the Arabian Sea. So Western disturbance is a depression and we also have weak uh, depressions uh, on the Bay of Bengal and Arabian Sea in the month of May and June. But they don't become proper cyclones, they die off. Because it's not powerful. Hoti. The waters are not very warm. Big depressions on the Bay of Bengal and Arabian Sea in the month of May and June. The waters are not very warm. So these are weak hoti, depressions. Now, the storms, hai, these are thunderstorms. they are also a cloud burst. Thunderstorm cloud bursts. They happen on the land, but water may be possible. They happen on the land. A common reason is convectional heating but storms can also be because of other factors also because of other factors like rapid orographic upliftment sometimes very strong frontal contrast cold front warm front but more commonly they are because of i said because of heating yeah, convectional is the more common one. Does India have storms? Like they're very common in the summers. Northern plains may hota hai. Uh, cities may hote hai. Even mountain heights. We can have storms in the mountain heights. Rapid upliftment. I've heard about pre-monsoon showers. Suna apne? In the month of May and June. Okay, in the April also. We have what's called as pre-monsoon showers. Kal Baisakhi, naam suna apne? Or we have uh, tea showers. Or we have mango showers. Tea showers hote hai Assam mein. Mango showers in Keril. Yeah, blossom showers, Karnataka mein. Cherry blossom showers or blossom showers. Blossom showers, Karnataka. So these are examples of storms. Kal Baisakhi, 
बंगाल में असम में बिहार में काल बैसाखी सो आर दे हार्मफुल और बेनिफिशियल काल बैसाखी जो है ये हार्मफुल है बाकी बेनिफिशियल है दे हेल्प गोटी ग्रोथ मैंगो राइपनिंग ब्लॉसम राइपनिंग यस काल बैसाखी इज द बेड वन दिस विल इंपैक्ट हार्वेस्ट दिस वे काल मींस डेथ नो वैशाख के महीने में इट इंपैक्ट हार्वेस्ट दीज आर कॉल्ड एज स्टॉम्स and just one additional point what is a cloud burst is a type of an intense storm cloud burst is a type of an intense storm rainfall of rainfall of more than 10 cm in one hour rainfall of more than 10 cm in one hour in a small area of 20 30 square kilometers in a small area of 20 30 square kilometers it's uh, increasingly common because of urban okay warming urban areas are very common delhi mumbai chennai bangalore kolkata very common because of urban warming of air this is a storm uh, cyclones and hurricanes padha diya maine ye syllabus mein hai aapka now tornadoes these are i said the most devastating these are phenomena of the land this happens in the peak summers this happens when the environmental lapse rate is more than 20 25 degree centigrade per kilometer sometimes as much as uh, 50 centigrade per kilometer bahut high lapse rate hai the elr is very very high 20 25 centigrade per kilometer height or sometimes as much as 50 centigrade per kilometer unusually warm conditions these are more common in the mississippi plains also called as the great plains of us the very common in the mississippi plains in the us wo ek belt hai that belt is called as tornado alley t o r n a d o tornado alley bolte a l l e y alley is a gully is a small uh, stretch where they are maximum mississippi plains of us the area is also called as the great plains and the great plains of us uh, to difference hai uh, great plains jo hai to se elevated hai and mississippi plains are the lowlands if i draw the cross section of uh, the us aise kuch socho aap this is the west coast of us this is the sea pacific ocean this is the coast ranges this is the great basin this is the main rockies isko bolte hain great plains and this is called as the mississippi basin and this is appalachians this is the atlantic coast approximately a cross section hai of the us the pacific ocean coast mein mountains hain there is a remember median mass for some of you okay is a basin depression then there is the main rockies the main rockies ye higher hai the great plains thoda elevated hai is a area of tectonic upliftment this area has tectonically been uplifted called as the great plains of us ekdam north south hai into canada great plains this is mississippi basin appalachians so the tornadoes hai they are more common in this part basin and the great plains main rockies main rockies this is called as the great basin a depression area hai great basin this is the coast mountains along the coast pacific coast ke mountains hai the sea the pacific ocean the great plains and mississippi basin appalachians so what happens here is uh, uh, the moist air comes from the gulf of mexico and the land is very hot so that that air starts rise rapidly the location has some geographical conditions map me this is the coastal plains uh, mountains ye hai main rockies like this uh, this is the great plains of north america ye wala part and this is the mississippi basin ye appalachians so what happens is the moist air from the gulf of mexico comes in here this land is hot and this air starts rise rapidly 
this is the coast mountains this this is the main rockies this is the uh, great plains this is the mississippi basin so is part mein in this part we have the tornadoes you don't need more than this syllabus mein hai nahi kai pucha nahi hai i'm just going one step ahead to have a sense of what they are that's all okay so tornadoes conditions hain now i must differentiate one thing here storms and thunderstorms and uh, a cloud burst vis-a-vis -vis cyclones in dono mein difference kya hai storms thunderstorms cloud burst and cyclones one is of course the wind speed is around uh, less than 80 kilometers an hour yahan par the wind velocity is more than uh, 80 more than 100 120 और अगर हरिकेन्स हैं, इट्स मोर देन 180 एटी किलोमीटर एन आर इज वन डिफरेंस बट द मोर इंपॉर्टेंट डिफरेंस इज द स्टॉम थंड स्टोन क्लाउड जो है थर्मल वेर एज साइक्लोन्स दे कैन बी ट्रॉपिकल साइक्लोन्स दे कैन बी टेम्परेट साइक्लोन्स ठीक है ये थर्मल होते हैं टेम्परेट साइक्लोन्स ऑफकोर्स दीज आर मोर लाइक डिप्रेशन and these are fronts these are a dynamic low pressures and another important point here is these systems they are short lived one to two hours ke hote hain they short lived whereas tropical cyclones are 5 to 6 days these are about 10 15 days shweta one is the power is different the intensity is different you are right with the wind speed hai that's what the wind speed intensity but remember your depressions and depressions can be weaker yahan pa wind speed is less than 50 km h hour a short lived hai and these systems these are non rotating systems ye winds don't rotate whereas these are rotating systems this is simply convergence and rising convergence and rising in this case convergence and there is rotation these are rotating systems nahi isme bhi clouds storms may be storms or uh, uh, thunderstorms are also cumulonimbus but without an i isme i nahi hota these are also cumulonimbus clouds but isme i nahi hoga there's no i in thunderstorms wind speeds thermal short lived non rotating large clouds cumulus nimbus clouds but without an i aur ye to pata hi hai aapko ye brick laying aap isko so like i said is syllabus mein nahi hai but they have asked thunderstorms once ek baar pucha hua question hai these are much smaller 20 30 square kilometers i said very small these are much larger they are much smaller localized and not as powerful systems in terms of wind speed और क्लाउड बर्स्ट में डिफाइन कर दिया था क्लाउड बर्स्ट इज अ सिस्टम विच हैज रेनफॉल ऑफ अबाउट टेन सेंटीमीटर्स इन वन आर एंड एरिया ऑफ अबाउट ट्वेंटी थर्टी स्क्वायर किलोमीटर्स